Okay, cool. Uh, my name is Aiden, and I'm a junior. My name is Lily, I'm a senior. My name is Grayson, I'm a junior. My name is Noah, I'm a senior, and we are from Omaha Central High School. Oh, cool! This is our poem, Chose Me. Hi, I saw you from across the room. When I heard her laugh, her smile turning heads, but causing the turning gears in my head. Would you like to get dinner? I thought you'd never ask. As if this old thrifted sweater is enough to cover me in an embrace of this great ideal fantasy of love, did he choose me? Was I the one he picked out from the crowd, the one he found and chose to pursue? This is something new. Did she choose me? Did she see me and believe I could be something? I just want to see where this could go, somewhere that could feel like home. God, that was cheesy. It's, it's a, a funny feeling, feeling to be chosen. chosen. After I'm done with holding myself up after a long day, it's, it's strange, strange to be chosen. chosen. The chemical triggered a child with an interest to learn to understand a stranger, despite a potential cliff and the danger of falling straight off the edge. But I guess that's what ensues from falling for another person, like the gravity dragging against the edge of the cliff chose me. The gravity chose me. They, they chose me. me. He'll choose the restaurant and pick me up at seven. And I'll choose to let him a late dinner when I'm anything but tired. Too busy worrying about my appearance to fall asleep. What do I wear to ensure he chooses me again? What to keep a boy's attention until he can prove he's mature enough to make a decision about who to let in? Are these pants too long? This shirt too wrinkled? A tie? A t-shirt? What if it all looks just wrong and she chooses to leave me alone in the restaurant, listening to the songs, playing from the piano around the corner? and waiting for a check. 6.45, and he'll be here soon. Does my hair look just right, or my teeth a shade of white? Not to blind him, but enough to hold attraction. 6.45, and I really need to leave. 6.50, and what kind of heteronormative story is this situation? The single narrative I've been hearing since childhood. The prince charming will rescue the princess. He will choose her. Five, Five minutes late. late. Is he even coming? Look at me, all dressed up, standing in my doorway, waiting for a carriage that will never show. Five, Five minutes, minutes late, late, and I'm late. I promised I wouldn't do this. Why did I spend so long picking out a tie. Who cares about a tie? It's already going wrong here. There he is in his maroon Honda Civic, tinted windows with a scratch on his passenger side door. I can't see his face. Here. here. There she is, doorway framing her figure. Thank God for tinted windows. So she can't see the fear on my face. My hand fumbles with the door handle. Is she waiting for me? I have fears, sure, but I also have hopes. I hope he's respectful. I hope his heart is bigger than his ego. I hope when our time is up, he asks before kissing me. I hope he's not overly confident because I'm sure I'll feel small and lost like a child at the pool or the mom most of all. I, I hope, hope I'll be safe. safe. To be a woman is to be endlessly consumed by fear. This is why I frame them all as hopes. My fears overflow, spill over, and mix with my hopes, making them one. I don't want to be cold towards her, but if I compliment her, will I come off too strong? I'm worried she'll think I'm a creep. Did I take my meds? What if she sees me fidget compulsively and thinks I'm a freak? I can't help but feel like a child waking up from a bad dream. I'm calling out in the darkness. What if she answers? What, what if? if? 